when I had to do this ahead, I'm so sorry. Um, so what I was doing is I double checked the pages and uh, make sure they're all in places, they're all in the position, they're all good and looks good, right order and everything. And then I just have this big needle. I just got it from Michael as well and some thread. I got it from Michael as well. It's from the, uh, not thread, twine. Uh, it's from the recollection, uh, 100 yard. And I have this little hole puncher. I got it from SC. I will link it uh, in the shop down below. It's very good. Um, so make sure everything is on the right position and you gotta have two clips to um, kind of secure the pages and everything. And I hole punch five holes. The one in the center, um, the one in here, and the other one in here. So it kind of like, you know, even out. And this one is here and the last one is here. So two at nearby the edge, two in the middle, and one in the center. And then what I'm doing is I use my thread, I put my thread in my needle, and I start from the center. I just, and then I leave a little towel in the center um, for later and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it from the back and pull it out from the center make sure it's secured and then I do it again for the edge one and I pull it out from the back so kind of need to secure it again and then I put it back at the um, middle one and then I put it out again so the half side is secured Kinda. and then what I'm doing what I'm gonna do is I put my needle through the center one the center hole And then do the same thing for the next part, which will be the center one first. And then the edge one. And then the center one again. I mean the middle one again, the center one. Okay, so now you have this. Then you can unclip the clips <laughs> and you have this and I pull it down, put it up and then cut it down and you have to make sure every thread is in the place and every thread is tight enough and you can make the knot. That's how I um, bite my notebooks or how I tied my you know, do the binding. Usually, I would tie double knot, and boom! Here you go, and cut the edge sharp thread. Here you go, it's done. Okay, so you kind of need to press it a little bit. Use a very thick book. Oh, okay, I shouldn't do this. Okay, sorry. Um, press it a little bit. Then you will have a brand new book, you will have a brand new journal. The next step is I need to make sure it's no overhand. So it looks perfect. This book just turns out perfect. Oh my god. And the next step is I'm gonna cut a little bit tail, like overhand, like too long or something. I'll just cut it down. Make sure everything is in the right place. And then, then the bottom ones, the bottom ones, okay, cool, now it's done done, oh, this one is too much, just cut it, it's at the back. You will see it anyway. Let me 
get rid of those thread. They're too long. Okay. This one too. Yes. This one too. Okay. So now you're gonna flip over. That's the most exciting part. You're gonna flip over from the star. Make sure it's not upside down before you um, do the binding, of course. Make sure everything is secured. Make sure you can, you know, you can assess everything in your journal. And, yep, I think it's totally perfect. This one is kind of perfect. <laughs> Too long. Okay. Page pack spot. Oh, the, the tuck spots I just made. I didn't film it. I'm so sorry. But yeah, you got it. The idea is a tuck spot. You can put it at the front or at the back. And then your center is the uh, the pocket. I was gonna put an envelope. I'm not sure if you remember that, but I just think the center page is so gorgeous. I, I just don't want to ruin the page, but I will still tuck this uh, envelope in this journal later on. I will I will show you how I make the, um, the envelope. Let me finish the flip through first. A little fold out. Ledger, vintage page. And here's another pocket. Here is another tuck spot. And yeah, all the pages are in the right place. Another tuck spot. Perfect. I love it. I love, 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 love this one. I just love it. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna age every page roughly first, and I will dive in to go to every page. Okay, here I'm gonna edge, edge a little bit, and here as well, dum dum dum, edge, 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 and of course, don't forget here, okay, and then flip through again, here, Needs more, a little bit more of love. Then I will give him a little bit more love. <laughs> then the final the page. Just whenever, a little bit here and there. If you are, you know, not very in into this aging stuff, you can totally skip that. For some pages, I just skip that, like chasing papers and vintage pages. I kind of just skip that one. Mostly, I will just um, do a little bit touch, vintage touch at most of the pages. Just make it look a little bit authentic. And dum 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 dum. Okay. I guess it's good. This one definitely is more of binding. Okay, looks good. This one too, a little bit more. Not too much, otherwise it looks fake. Just a little bit here and there. This one as well. I just don't like to see the white, you know, the whitening, whitening edge, the white edge. I just don't like to see it. I like vintage. I like vintage. Okay, so that's for this step. Um, what I'm going to do is calling my table. <laughs> okay, next step is. The most fun steps is junk my journal. So you know I have um, for each of my journals I attached. Okay, I attached a lot of ephemera for you guys to just you know um, 
do uh, just uh, create your own journal your way, but I will just attach some of my ephemera. Still filming? Okay, it's still filming. <laughs> Um, so what do I have in here is usually I will attach um, <coughs> photos and and shipping tags and you know that kind of stuff and here I just um, just told you is for a wedding this one is this journal is for a wedding journal it's a wedding journal maybe actually it's not but you know I just like to uh, create something some crazy stuff this one is definitely too long. I kind of have OCD, do I? Um, okay. Okay. Um, so let's first ch uh, choose a paper. For the page here, I told you I will put a put a page here, right? Like kind of like looking for bridesmaid or um, a wedding them I guess this one looks pretty good but the the boy in the center looks kind of young um let's see maybe this one this one looks there or you know smiling that's kind of cool this one oh this one looks perfect okay this one I make my make my decision this one. So some photo, you know, photo um, card. This one is a couple in the center, and this two lovely girls smiling. So this will go here. And I'm gonna have some of my clips. And then here definitely is for um, something big. Maybe I will put a shipping tag. Oh no, shipping tag goes to the front. Okay, shipping tag goes to the front. I'm sorry, I forgot. Always. <laughs> shipping tag goes to the front. Okay, let me choose a beautiful one for this journal. Um, this flower, kind of flower already. I don't want to put too colorful, um, can I distract too much? Maybe just this one, looks good. Kind of, they gotta decide where they are going to have their honeymoons, right? So it's good to have a map. So, I'm gonna edge, edge the edge again. Same thing. It's definitely for each journal, it's gonna take me like almost two hours to finish one. Um, so, um, I don't know, it's just, but I had, I had a lot of fun to do this, I really do. I will keep doing it, I will keep doing it, I will definitely keep making my journals, and I have this, uh, single hole puncher, find the center, and hole punch. Anyway, um, and then I'm going to ink the hole a little bit. Okay, at the back a little as well. Can't get the back. So for the shipping tag, it's not really shipping, right? <laughs> it you can um, attach photos in here. You can attach. Um, um, I don't know, just love letters, anything, anything here. And I chose this kind of like a golden um, silk ribbon, or golden gold color silk ribbon to match the theme. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it in my shipping tag. Be careful. Um, while you put the ribbon in the hole because sometimes the ribbon is very uh, stiff 
and it can rip the hole. So uh, probably you have to make sure you don't rip it off. You don't rip the edge. So this one goes to here. Okay, and for this envelope, what do I have in here? What do I have? Maybe I have other cards for my card stock. I usually attach a vintage leather, so I'm gonna do it too. Um, okay, so this is vintage leather. And this one is from December 28th. I didn't say the year. Oh, I wonder what year is it? Did they say in here? No, they don't. So I have to double check with the envelope. On the envelope is 1945. So it's from 1945. Um, December 28th, right after the Christmas. Okay, is it good? Looks good. Maybe don't cover it up. I kind of like cover it up, but I just love this photo, so maybe not. Okay, so I'm stuck it in here. Then goes to the nest. So I try to fill up every pocket that I have in my journals, but sometimes it's just impossible because you have your own um, things to tuck it in. You have your own um, ephemera, of course. You want to put in your own journal. So now I'm trying to find more ephemera. Where are my piles? Oh, um, wait, where are they? Okay, it's here. Whew. I'm like, what? Where are they? No, don't do this to me. Okay, I think it's a wedding thing. I'm gonna find some, this one, this one definitely put in here. Oh, it's so romantic. I love this one. <coughs> Excuse me. I love this card. The weather today is kind of better now. Yesterday it was snowing. I was like, what? It's March. No, no, no. Yeah, almost March and it's still snowing. My wedding is in May, so I'm kind of worried now, you know? Like, don't snow in May, please. <laughs> nah, I, I won't say anything, but yeah, I hope not. Usually I will tuck one more thing. Um for this one this one kind of like vintage too like got a flower a roses rose and i don't know what it is maybe it's a stove maybe it's a stove maybe it's not i don't know i wish i could live like try or at least try to live in 20s or you know 19th century to kind of live in their way like for one or two days i really love to see like what they are doing um I love to know what they, what the contour really like. And I really love to know. <laughs> I just, um, creepy. Okay, so here you go. Put some, put two cards in here. And then of course here as well. So what I'm gonna do um, is I will put another ephemera, maybe a vintage. We just a vintage um, postcard. This one. Okay, I'll just put it in here. Vintage postcard. Okay. And then. Tax spot. What do I have for a tax spot? So I like my wedding to be a fairy tale wedding. So I'm gonna attach a fairy tale theme card. In this card here, this one. So I got a butterfly and got a little princess on the lotus leaf. Um, I forgot the name, but probably I I've seen this fairy. I've read this uh, read this fairy tale already. I just forgot the name. Something princess, right? If you know the name, please tell me. I would love to um, read it again. But um, when I was little, I read 
the Chinese version, of course. But I still remember how intense the story word was. Um, so yeah, please let me know what's the name in English. Um, if I can find it, just this little princess and she is tiny, she's little and kind of had an adventure in the woods, something like that. I, I just don't remember. Okay, I will tuck it at the back here. Okay, so another pocket. What can I, what do I have? What do I have? Maybe I'll leave it, leave it, just leave it there. Just leave it there. Will you be mad at me? Whoever purchased this, um, <laughs> do you know, will you be mad at me? Um, yeah, I'll just leave it there. I'll just leave it there, you know? Um, I don't think. And a fold out. And here's another pocket. I'll put something here. Sorry, it's a truck. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, oh, the envelope, envelope, yeah, man, I totally forget this one. Okay, um, I'm gonna make an envelope right now. Okay, give me a sec. I'm just trying to put it back, put those papers back. Okay, I'm trying to, uh, so this is a page from the country fairy of an Edwardian lady. Um, so at the back it has picture, it has image, and at the front here it says October and all the words, all the diaries that she wrote is an amazing book. I'm gonna check one more time. Okay, still there. So it's amazing, it's an amazing book. You gotta check it out, you gotta check it out. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, what I did was, um, I saw all the edge on my sewing machine. And I'm gonna fold it like probably right here. And then I have this little, I don't know, like a paper pressure. <laughs> I don't know what's the name for it. Okay, I'm gonna press a little bit and make it in the right place. And then I'm gonna fold the closer. Make sure you leave a little gap here. You don't want to um, like fold it right on the edge. No, leave a little bit gap. Because you're gonna put things in here and it's gonna get bulky and you won't be able to close it anymore <laughs> if you don't leave the gap. Okay, so now I'm gonna, you know, same thing ink the edge, ink whatever, ink the way that you want, you should just play with it, just play with it, don't take it serious, You're gonna get whatever, okay, so the back as well, I just love how much detail I put in every of my junk journals. I just really enjoy the making it. I really enjoy to do it, to do this thing. I don't know. And then you're gonna put some glue. Not too much, not too little. Okay. So it just has a lot of extra glue and it will mess up your paper. Okay, and then you fold it, you glue it down, use a little bit of strength, pressure, press it down, cover as well, so get rid of extra glue, and then you use the pressure again. That's what I'm gonna do in my press it, press it. Okay. Chup, chup, chup. Chup, chup. Chup, chup, chup. Okay. Whew. Done. So your envelope is done. Yay! Okay. So full is your an envelope made out of <coughs> sorry a vintage page. It's cool, right? So I'm gonna tuck it in here. Okay, 
Okay, it looks cool. It looks cool. Okay, um, I guess that's it. That's it um, for this one. I don't know. Oh, maybe I can make a little um. What can I say? Writing uh, more room for writing. I don't have a big enough scrapbook. I'm gonna just use this one. I'm gonna cut it in size and I will show you what it is. So it's kind of like a fold out. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round the corner. Where's my where's my corner runner? Okay, it's here. Sorry. And double check the camera. I'm gonna round the corner every page, including the closer. Just give me a sec. Put in this one. Like I really spent like one hour or two hours in it. Sometimes people, some of the clients said um, the journal is is a little bit too expensive. Can you make it cheaper or whatever? Kind of negotiate with the price and everything. But I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to lower the price to be honest. Um, because I really, 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 really. <laughs> Um, spend hours and hours and hours and days in my journals. Um, at least I feel like the journal itself is pretty and it is worth the price. I have to say, for me, it's totally worth the price. And and for a journal, you can write so many stuff in there. You can use it for a long time and you can keep it for a long time. It's not gonna disappear. It's not gonna go away. It's not like a computer you have to erase the memory or anything you can keep it like forever and ever and ever as long as you want unless you want to charge it or you know which i don't want you to so um that's yeah i'm pretty um certain about my price and i'm just sorry about that <laughs> okay so here is kind of like um um an envelope not an envelope because i'm not gonna um glue the glue the edge it's kind of like a fold out more writing spaces and what i'm going to do is i'm gonna find one of my stamps i'm gonna stamp um i'm gonna stamp something on the cover make it pretty yes i will go for this one it's like a ticket it's a vintage ticket and of course, I'm gonna use this ink too. <laughs> okay, press it. Yay! Clean with my hands. I'm sorry to upset you if I said something <coughs> sorry inappropriate about the price and everything but that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna you know um, I'm not gonna you know just do whatever you want <laughs> okay so where I can tuck this one here just to know um, no that doesn't look good nope nope maybe I can tuck this one in here Maybe that's what I want. It's still too narrow. All right, put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Don't worry, I'm putting it back. Put it back. I don't know. I think it's too small. Usually, I will have a tuck spot for that, but it seems like this one doesn't. 
maybe here. I guess here as well. It's too narrow as well. I don't know. I will try. I will try. Um, yeah, this one works. Okay, I will, then I will just switch with the leather. And I'm going to use another um, clip to kind of push it down. So you will have this one. So I will put the leather at the very back. Or maybe in the level. No, I'll put it at the very back. And then you will have it. Okay, I don't want to cover it. Okay, so here's the leather. Oh, finish! Oh my god, we finished. We finished the journal together! Okay, probably I will do a little bit more touch at the end before I, put, uh, I, I you know, post it, list it on my SC, maybe a more clip or something. But yay! I finished it. I finished it. Maybe I can put it in here. No, I don't want to rip it. Okay, so that's what we got. Okay, got a shipping tag at the front. A lot of flowers, a thin rum, uh, some couple pictures and couple bride maids pictures and a lot of pockets, a lot of a thin rum, different pages, different paper, fabric. And tuck spot with some Victorian, uh, Victorian, Victorian, what the f <laughs> okay, era calling card, a pocket, fold out. Yep, a lot of stuff. Envelope, more tuck spot, a leather tuck spot. Done, done, done. This one I believe has 28 pages. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's twenty-eight. Twenty-eight pages for this journal, including uh, the cover, is thirty pages. A lot of fabric, a lot of sewing, a lot of vintage Victorian stuff. Um, a lot of ephemera, a lot of spot, a lot of tuck spot pockets. You got everything. Got ribbon, silk ribbon. Yep, I love it. Do you love it? How do we finish? It's an hour of video. Oh my god. Do you love it? I love it. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Probably I will post um, a video of the new list for the next one. Um, it will be coming tomorrow or today next. Um, yeah, I will try my best to finish all my journals and post it on my Etsy. Ah. Glad to finish one with you guys. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for staying with me for so long. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.